Good Wednesday, everyone. I finally have a camper shell in here again. Uh, I'm seeing someone uh, wondering how they do with the screens on these windows. Uh, there's there's probably four different ways to do them. Uh, don't only write some music so you can hear it. I'm trying to keep it quiet. So anyways, one way is you can take the screen out, never put it back in, just tint it and go with it. That's the easiest way. Uh, some customers like this guy uh, wants to keep his screen because he does carry the dogs back here. So we're doing a uh, ceramic back here to help keep it, keep it a little cooler, but he can still keep these windows open and uh, dogs ain't gotta you know, try to claw out that, that glass. So the screens are very important to a lot of people. So what I do on these windows is uh, I'll cut it oversized, about a quarter inch all the way around, stick it in, then I'll trim it on the inside. You get a nice clean cut that way. As for the screens, like I said, you can pull them off, take them off, eliminate the screens completely. Uh, two ways to leave them in is the screen. Uh, generally, I'll leave this bottom connected uh, up to the curve and I'll just fold the whole screen over. This particular one has a roof rack uh, well inside, and you can see the pole going down right here. It's really, really tight right here, and it's gonna be a bitch to kinda get that, that rubber seal back in there. So on this one, I just pulled the top, bottom, and this front side, and I'll shove this out of the way. That way I can access this right here. I can shave it, need be. I might have to on this one just because I double cut it on the other side and that part's finished but for the cut on these windows here what i like to do is you can see the outside seal uh, top and bottom there's plenty of gap and you got like a half inch you can slide down and, and on the top and bottom so anyways i'll marker this on the outside i'll uh, make a straight line out here on, on the outside and then I'll slide the window open and get me a nice clean cut right here just as we do the roll up windows. So on the inside, I'm going to kind of two stage this. Um, it make, it's the easiest way for me to do it. So um, uh, I'm going to two stage it on this back side. So hopefully this lines up and I'll just shave it. But I'm going to show you real quick. Grab the film. Give me just a couple seconds and I'll be ready for you. Oh, one more thing is this window, these pieces right here, they have a little play in them so that you pull on it, kind of give it a little flush right there, like you would on the door. But give me just a second. So, like I said, I'm going to two-stage this. Sorry it took so long. Not somebody talking to me. So I'll leave my plastic on. Line that back up a little bit. this thing forward do like we normally do with two stage I'm gonna pull this out just to kind of flush it and then of course we do that buckle a little bit I push out just a little slide it in there and I did forget to mention in the very beginning that I do pull this metal frame I unscrew pretty much 
from here all the way around and I'll leave a couple screws in this top corner down the whole bottom that way uh, I got some play can move things around uh, mainly to get to access this screen rubber to go around that's really the only reason I do that so let's continue to squeeze you this you got to leave some screws in there because this window will fall out if you press too hard I like to put a piece of, a couple pieces of tape on the outside just across the top you kind of hold it in if I do press on it that tape's going to catch it that'll save you a few hundred bucks all right so we'll pull this out lines up right against that metal uh, brace right there it doesn't go to the edge of the glass here and here which you can't see unless you open so I'm not going to be that picky one could freehand that if you really want to take some extra time but I'm ready to get it done so we're not going to do that so when you go to put this screen back in what I like to use is two different tools I use this one this one uh, the correct tool of course the screen uh, roller which you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's, all those places uh, make those make it a lot easier to put back in but if you're going to use one of these this one here works not too bad I just started using this one today so to put the screen in and the other reason why I keep this one side in because now I can pull it tight put it back in the original position I don't have to fight lining this whole thing up sticking the rubber back in that's really pain pain in the butt to do so what we'll do to get this out of there got some leaves or something we'll just run it smooth and then we'll just line that rubber up it's kind of a tedious deal especially if you don't have that roller especially on these curves it makes it a lot harder so, just get that rolling. And then we'll just roll that thing in. And this is the other reason why I like putting that tape on the outside, because here you actually are pressing on it a decent amount. So I keep my hand pulled where it keeps it tight, and I pull right here to keep it a little tight. roller literally just roll it so much easier so we'll do that do that on the bottom do that on the top and of course I did take this one out which is not a big deal because they the rest of this rubber is holding that screen in and we'll just pop it in all the way down so I'm gonna finish this up I'm not gonna bore you with the process of putting this in because it does take a couple minutes so at least want to show you guys how I do it um, you can take the glass out also if you want to do it that way um, it just seems a little, you know, a little extra work, I guess. I don't like doing stuff outside the vehicle, uh, just the way I like to do it. So let me know how you guys do it, and if you got any questions on this install, hit me up. Thanks, guys.